Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Derek Afasi. I'm the owner of Afasi Financial Group. Today's topic I want to discuss with you, safe retirement strategies for dummies, and go over the safety aspect, and not to try to overcomplicate your retirement planning needs, but break it down to very simplistic terms, very simplistic language, so that you could overcome any obstacles, such as high fees, such as downward market loss, things that could limit you from accomplishing your safe retirement strategy goal. Um, the very first bullet point that I have up at the screen uh, talks about max growth or max income. And this is where you have to determine whether or not you want something that's going to be safe and more of the savings aspect or something more of the investment aspect. The difference between savings and investments has to do simply b uh, with risk. You know, with any sorts of savings accounts, the savings accounts are going to give you more of a f either a fixed percentage rate year by year or a consistent percentage rate year by year. And most importantly, is going to eliminate any downward market losses or any losses to your portfolio. The person that's looking for that safe, consistent gain or that fixed gain is giving up the potential for maximized growth within that account. But the person that's looking for an investment play with maximized growth is now surrendering that potential to potentially lose all their retirement dollars or the, all of their accumulation dollars, whether that's non-qualified monies or qualified monies. So there's going to be a risk and return aspect when you're looking for max growth. My whole concept and one of the things behind my entire company is mainly for the safe retirement strategies, something on how we could maximize out that safe, uh, consistent growth to make sure that as you are participating in a specific type of account, if this account has growth in it, if it's linked to a stock market index would be an example, or uh, linked to certain uh, stock indexes, um, it would say if that market goes up or if that index goes up, you're going to receive a gain into your account. The next year or next two years, however, the, the strategy is set up, um, if that has a, a downward loss to it, well, then your bottom number is going to be a 0% floor. So what that's doing is it's allowing you to have the power of compound interest working in a positive direction because it's interest on top of interest on top of interest while eliminating the different things that could hinder that growth such as fees and most importantly downward market losses. If you have somebody that has money uh, with investments with mutual funds, you had large growth in the market from 1980 through 2000. You had over a thousand percent growth into the market. Now those individuals were, were brainwashed essentially thinking that, you know, the market's always going to be going up. As long as I keep my money in the market, there's not going to be a risk associated with that account. And unfortunately, we've seen dips in 2000s. And that's why it's known as the lost decade. Especially in 2008, we had a big, large market shift that took place and a lot of these individuals that were baby boomers that were looking to retire might have had a million dollars might have had 500,000 that they've accumulated in their 401k their IRA accounts and then they saw that get cut in half and fall significantly because it was still tied to a risky aspect there was no safety tied to those types of accounts so whether somebody's looking at the max growth play my whole perception is first off all these carriers want to have that individual's business you have some carriers that are looking obviously to make as much money as possible. That's the whole purpose of them offering certain contracts, but they have gaps in their plans. What I mean by gaps is there's certain niche criteria that an individual can place their money into these max growth, safe accumulation strategies to say, okay, if I'm 55 years old, well, then there's going to be three companies in your area that are going to be far better than three other companies that might limit your potential for that max growth. The next aspect is max income. So if you have a certain strategy, rather than just going to a random company and saying, yes, I want to go invest hundreds of thousands of dollars with you, each company is going to give their offer. The, the, the point that I'm trying to hit home is you want to go with the correct company that's going to give you the correct offer. You want to make sure that your plan is customized. If you have a max income goal or if you have a max accumulation goal, max growth goal, those are going to be two separate factors to consider. And you're going to have you know three major scenarios that come back with the max growth goal and three completely different scenarios that come back with the max income. So you just want to be mindful of eliminating the negatives eliminating the fees, eliminating the downward market loss, and then that you control the chips with retirement. You have these carriers out there. You have hundreds of different carriers, and each carrier has their own slew of, of, of contracts that's being offered, you know, in between three to five different contracts. So therefore, you have over a thousand different scenarios for your specific situation that's going to work out much better than, you know, your neighbor that might be two years older than you or 10 years younger than you, whatever the case may be. So you just want to make sure that you're controlling the chips, and does it make sense? If I have a 
specific goal, where can I place my dollars into that company, the smallest amount of dollars possible into a specific contract to optimize out the most amount of benefit. And that's, once again, we're honing in on that safety, the safe retirement strategies. Um, one of the a couple of things I mentioned, as I said, fees, losses, and outliving your money. What used to occur was individuals thought that the market would always be going up. So you had these different theories out there known as a 4% rule. Let me clear up. And what this rule stated was as long as this person's in their 60s and they're in a conservative portfolio, as long as they leave their money in that conservative portfolio with mutual funds, with retirement accounts, and they only pull out 4% per year, there's about a 90% chance of success of them not outliving their retirement monies. Now, first off, you have to think of any time you have 80% chance of success, 90% chance of success, you have to think of that as getting on an airplane. If I told you you were going to get on an airplane and you have a 90% chance of success of that airplane getting to its destination successfully, obviously you're not going to get on that airplane. That's the same way you have to look at retirement strategies, retirement income. You want to make sure that there's a 100% chance of success, that there's no gaps whatsoever because that is essentially your livelihood. That's the difference between being confident in retirement or being terrified in retirement anytime that the market takes a dip. So what would happen with this 4% rule and the reason why it was deemed unsuccessful, especially after the lost decade in 2000s, um, was because these individual accounts had certain amount of fees of it uh, associated with those accounts, such as mutual fund related fees, such as advisor fees. Um, most important was there was a downward market loss potential that individuals didn't consider and they just thought that it was going to be a consistent growth year by year and then on top of it they were pulling money out of these accounts so these were three major negatives that hindered these retirement accounts and were prevented an individual from getting to their retirement destination successfully if somebody's looking for max growth typically because we deal with hundreds of different clients every single month thousands every single year we understand where the mindset is on the safe retirement strategies on the on the safe max growth and time and time again the problem lies that individuals are too risky in their later years you know they don't have that time horizon as if they were in their 20s and their 30s where if the market goes up and then goes down they could then recuperate from that downward loss because they have a longer time horizon you can't make a mistake when you don't have that much time left and you want to start pulling money from those accounts so that's known as reverse dollar cost averaging I, I cover that with a lot of different content a lot of different videos when it comes to max income there's certain ways that you could set it up into legal reserve structured accounts legal reserve structured contracts meaning that they're very safe to provide lifetime income to you or lifetime income to you and your spouse to make sure that you're taking a portion of your dollars of your retirement dollars or your cash dollars throwing into a contract and receiving X amount of thousands of dollars of income so all it is is just a big game of leverage and that's what you want to do if you're looking for that max income goal what are ways to make sure that your fees are as low as possible you don't have any downward market losses and there's a zero percent chance of outliving your dollars rather than play that big guessing game in retirement um, and for the very last point that I want to make and I'll clear up this is gaining the power of compound interest for your specific plan once again, it has to be customized. Your plan has to be customized. You want to make sure that it's correlating specifically to your goals. Now, the power of compound interest could either work in a, as, a, as a beautiful thing. If you're getting interest on top of interest on top of interest, Albert Einstein said the most powerful thing in the world is the power of compound interest. So if you could utilize that to your advantage, that's all for the better. But that could also work against you. If you having the combination of fees, of losses, of pulling money from your accounts, that's the computation, that's the compound effect, the power of compound interest working against your accounts and that's what's forcing you to outlive your retirement dollars so one of the things that we do is we specialize in dealing with specifically designed safe retirement strategies and contracts and we have a specific process known as the retire sharp planning system and on average for each individual that gives us a call we'll go and we'll speak with them we'll find we'll help them figure out what their goals are and we'll give them recommendations the recommendations go through this process of the retire sharp planning system which on average we go through over 1200 different scenarios uh, scenarios, companies, products, strategies, all of those different uh, aspects before we give our top three recommendations to make sure that we're, you know, we're, we're doing a, a system of checks and balances before we're giving you those top recommendations so you're very confident in retirement. But we're not going to be the risky guys. 
you know we, we understand our place we understand our niche it's mainly for the person that wants to see safety preservation max distribution to their accounts and that's the way that we you know that we try to educate and we try to say you know listen look at what the negatives are prevent those negatives and make sure that you're optimizing out you know what those positives are we are a plus rated on the better business bureau we've never had any complaints we've always had very good reviews and it's because of our methodical process um, once again if you're interested in this video if you found value in this video feel free to give our 1-800 number a call it's 1-800-566-1002 once again, my name is Derek Afasi. I want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, RetireSharp, so you can have access to the most updated videos. Thanks so much, guys.